All right, now that this apple has like this texture, it's a real small texture and these real small dots, I'm going to have to do this probably twice only because of that. This is probably not in the top layer of fruit. This is in the second layer of fruit. You got to think of these as real thin layers of color. Um, the whole red sits on top of these little pock marks, making the white pop through. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is just take my sketch brush. Okay. Make sure it's on normal and make sure I have low opacity. And what I'm going to do is simply take this red and kind of go over the white. I can always get that white back. Okay, now I'm going to take this darkness and move it into the red. And I'm also going to take the red and move it into the darkness a little bit. And you see what I'm doing? I'm overlapping uh, the color over and over again until it starts to flow nice. And I shouldn't see any weird lines go on. Okay, and I'm just stealing color as I go. The richer or whiter the color, the more the object pops out. And the more you do this, the uh, more depth you get. Once in a while, I'll pop in these highlights again. Okay, again, let's see what we can do here. And sometimes you can steal from the picture too if you want to steal that. I would find pictures that have good color in them. Start painting with them at first before you start making your own inventions of color. This will teach you what colors to kind of look for to steal out of your paintings. Uh, or, or just in general to use in your paintings. Okay, now what I'm going to do is start putting this texture back in. Um, I do that by making a really, really small brush and maybe make it a little higher opacity and start tapping. I wouldn't make these too light. I wouldn't make them too on too much on the opacity side, keep the opacity low, or you're going to be blending all day long trying to get them back out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is start putting the shadow in. I like the shadow right here. Put that rich shadow back in. I'm going to put that rich shadow in here. And a couple waves of the wand here. Put some more of these highlights back in. And then in the next video, what I'm going to do is start using that other brush of mine to lay down some foundation work. Because right now this is boring, and if I wanted to add a lot more depth to it, I'd add resolution. The way I add resolution is to add little tiny dots to the scene. So that's next.